Okay, this is a maxillary central incisor radiograph and we are going to do the interpretation today. <clears throat> can you all tell me which are the teeth that you can see? Mm. Assuming that this is the first quadrant. Mm. One, 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 two. two. Yeah, and which is the tooth adjacent to it? One, one three. three. One, three. One, three. three. Most likely a one, three, but somehow mm. the Extracted root uh, doesn't look very long. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So we're not very sure. Probably a canine mm. or maybe a first premolar because we can't see the uh, root so clearly. Anyways, can you tell me what landmarks you can see? Yes? What are the landmarks? Uh, uh, maxillary sinus. Maxillary sinus, floor, very good. Then that is the floor, next is the floor of the uh, nasal uh, fossa. And what do you call the... Uh, inverted Yeah, the inverted line. Inverted, line. inverted by line. Yeah. You can see it clearly here. That's the, that's the inverted by line. Very good. Okay, so what else can we see? Um, nasal septum. Nasal septum. Nasal septum there, yes, that's the nasal septum. Intermaxillary suture. Intermaxillary suture, yes. Inside the foramen. Uh, no, 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 that, that's not the inside the foramen. Maybe we should think again. Generally, it's between the roots of the uh, two central incisors. So, yes, that's the inside the foramen. Very good. Any other? Have you left out anything else? And there's nasal spine. Okay, nasal spine again, somewhere there. Yes, uh, more likely that it is a little lower than that. That is the nasal spine. Okay, so you should remember that's exactly not uh, that, that, that exactly. That's the nasal spine. Okay, <laughs> fine. Now let's move on. Which are our teeth of interest? Mm. One, 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 two, and then. Adjacent tooth. And then the adjacent tooth. Let's assume that it's a canine. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, what are we seeing at the um, teeth? Yes. Can we go to the crown first, please? Yes. And the crown, what are we seeing? That uh, there is second second possibly second secondary caries. There's radiolucency involving pulp. Very good. Radiolucency involving pulp. Wow. And then uh, in the adjacent tooth, we see that there is also looks like a fractured restoration. Mm -hmm. Yes? yes. Yeah. Fracture restoration involving the. Is it involving pulp? Yes. Oh, what is that uh, radio opacity there? Uh, restoration. Uh, restoration. Awesome. Probably on the lingual side. Yeah, on a radiograph. You can't really make that out. Yeah. And then move on to the um, <coughs> next part the roots. Roots looks. Roots. How do the roots look? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yes, Mr. There's a big void. Yes. yes. So, what is that? Radio opacity there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what is the material generally used? Good yeah. yeah. So, what have they missed here? Incomplete obturation. Incomplete obturation. Very good. Can you see the... Uh, has it been... Uh, has it reached the apical one third? No. 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 Yeah. So, there is incomplete obturation mm -hmm. there. Okay. So, next let's come to the roots of the teeth. They look okay. The roots look okay. Yeah. After the root is? Yeah. Height of? Yeah. Alveolar bone. bone. Looks okay. Does it look okay? Yes. Okay. Next? Pedial space. What happened to the pedial space? Can we discuss it? Widen. 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 Yeah. Yes. You can see up to somewhere up to here and, and and then the pedial space somehow disappears towards the end of the tooth in these areas you can't see the pedial space anymore okay yeah. similarly uh, in the next tooth um, <coughs> as well you can't see the pedial space very clearly right so mm -hmm. you can see that uh, the lamina dura is intact uh, and thickened in this area, yeah. but somehow it uh, mm -hmm. there is loss of yeah. lamina yeah. dura yeah. and pedial space at the apex of the tooth. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the um, this this area? Basically, doesn't have any lamina dura or PDL. Yeah. Radio yeah. Radio yeah. You can see a complete radiolucency. Radio the apex, apex, apex. Surrounding, the apex. surrounding the apex of the tooth so 
the radiolucency is in fact um, yeah. ill defined and it is uh, mo it is uh, moving and i mean it is uh, uh, at extending up to the adjacent tooth right so what yeah. is your diagnosis mm. there are three teeth involved here one of them is the central incisor apex is also having a radiolucency mm. which looks ill defined or slightly well defined but towards the uh, upper part upper of the tooth part. it is uh, ill defined towards this area mm -hmm. okay upper part of the uh, yeah this area looks ill defined yeah. right mm -hmm. and then next is your lateral incisor all looks completely ill defined mm -hmm. raj radiolucency extending to the apex of the canine so can we uh, now discuss the uh, di diagnosis remove the magnifying yeah can we discuss the diagnosis for this radiograph mm. um. yeah for the central incisor yes for that well and defined. for the lateral well defined radiolucency for central incisor more likely to be a periapical okay and what about the uh, lateral incisor very good so Chronic, chronic good yeah. chronic periapical abscess now can you give a differential diagnosis for periapical granuloma periapical very good okay and what about periapical abscess pcd early stage or any other uh, rarefying osteitis rarefying osteitis very good right so that is your radiographic interpretation. Thank you. Mm.